Hi, my name is Christian from Solatech Solutions and in this demonstration video I'm going to show you how to utilize the Smart Component functionality in SolidWorks. A Smart Component is a part that contains all the data necessary to allow it to be added to an, to an assembly. Two stages are involved in creating a Smart Component. First, the component to be made smart must be assembled in a defining assembly with the appropriate com components and any in-context features. After that, the component will be detached from this assembly, bringing with it all the information, features and references. As you can see on my screen, I've already completed the first step. I've, added, I've created my assembly, made it the components and added any hardware that I want to bring with, with the smart component. So what I will do now is I'll make a smart component of this front plate over there. To create a smart component, I will go to Tools, Make Smart Component. First, what SolidWorks wants to know is what component to make smart. So I'll select the front cover. Second, it wants to know if there is any hardware or any other components associated with that smart component. There is in this example. I want to bring in all the hardware that I've added. And it's important to select them all. At last, I will select those screws here. Now, if I click on features, you can see that all the hardware and the front plate that I've selected are disappeared. Now, the features that I want to bring with the smart component are the cut cutouts or the holes in the back plate. So I will go to my back plate over here and select the holes. Now I'm finished, I will click on OK. Any smart feature has been made. Now you can see nothing really changed in the assembly. However, if I look at the front plate, we can now see that a star has been added to the icon. If I open up the part, I can now see that there is an extra folder added to the front plate with subfolders, features, components and references. This indicates that this part now has all the information need necessary and is not dependent on the assembly anymore. So what I will do is I will save this assembly and I will show you how to insert this part in a new assembly. I've already opened up my new assembly. No holes in the back. First thing that I need to do is I need to bring in the front plate. like so and we have to mate it just like we do in all the assemblies to position it so I will make that coincident make them parallel and I will just position the part by using some distance mates oh I can see the coincident didn't really work out so let's try that again. Okay. And now I'll position this part using some distance mates. Okay, now that we've fully positioned this part, we can now utilize the smart feature functionality. We can do that two ways, or actually three. I can right click the part and select insert smart features. You can go to insert and then select the smart features from the top if you actually select the part. And I can select the part over here and then click on the star icon over there. What SolidWorks will do is it will now load the references from the part and it will ask me 
and it will ask me here to select the back face of the part. Back face are necessary to create the holes. So what I will do is I will rotate around, select the back face, and as you can see, we get a little green tick over here, and we can already see in our preview that the hardware has been placed. I'll click on OK now. I don't want to automatically rename my features. And there you have it. Inserted the front plate by using my smart feature functionality without adding any extra hardware and just clicking the reference. As you can see, this functionality will greatly improve and speed up your design process in assemblies.